What's going on everybody? Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics coming at you with a quick tech tip video. Tech tip video. Um, we're going to show you how a multimeter can actually lie to you if you're not properly loading a circuit. So let's go ahead and start. Turn on power. Right now this is just a simulated connector. Think of it for, as like in a vehicle harness voltage supply and now we're just check, checking voltage at the harness to see if it's a vehicle problem or if it's a component problem so we hooked our meter up and our meter is showing 12 volts right 12 volts 12 volts now this has a thousand ohm resistor in it let's put this on the ground side and let's see what it does to this meter do you guys think it's going to leave the voltage the same, it's gonna drop voltage, whatever. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Let me show you real quick though. As you guys can see, the voltage stayed the exact same. Now, we all know that whenever we're testing a circuit, and let's just say for instance, because we're gonna use a light bulb to test it here in a minute, this is a light bulb socket, right? We'd know that a thousand ohms of resistance would not allow the light bulb to light up. But if all we're doing is checking voltage, you'll see right here we have 12 volts, even though we have a thousand ohms of resistance in our harness. That is because this is not actually consuming any current and it's not actually loading that circuit up and putting any current flow through it. All it's doing is just checking, do I have power? Yes. So let's take a load test light. This is one that we offer but it uses an H11 bulb with some bananas on the end of it with a cover. Let's connect it in line, and then we're gonna watch our multimeter. Theoretically, if we would have just only used our meter and we did this, we'd see this was good. We would have replaced said component and it still wouldn't have worked. Let me show you why. 12 volts, 12 volts. Now let's plug this in line. As you can see, our light bulb did not light up and now we lost all of our voltage even though we still have full supply. That is due to the light bulb consuming all that current flow and this thousand ohm, of resist thousand ohm resistor actually causing a bottleneck of current flow going through and we've now lost our ground path because of the current flow going through it. This right here is why it's imperative whenever you're testing components you always need to load that circuit. Don't just, let me throw my meter on there, check it, yes I have power, yes I have power, yes I have ground, I should be good, because theoretically you're not good. You could have a damaged harness where there's only one strand of wire making a connection through, and it's gonna ohm out good, and you're gonna have good voltage, but it won't carry that current. So whenever you're doing any of your component testing, always load test that circuit. It takes you an additional 30 seconds to a minute to slap a load source in there. But once you have it, you know it's either good or it's bad. Now, just so that way I can show you guys this light bulb's working, we're gonna take this resistor out and we're also gonna see what the meter does. All right, the resistor's out, light bulb lights up nice and bright. And now we're actually showing voltage back on here as you can see, this is consuming a little bit of the voltage, not a ton, but we got our voltage returned, light bulb lights up. Always remember to test and don't guess when you guys are repairing vehicles. You're getting paid to work on them, make sure you're getting paid to do the job properly. Test out the circuit before you just replace the component. Thank you guys, have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any concerns, comments, or whatever about what I did, Comment down below, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff that everybody recommends in all their YouTube videos. Also, one last thing. From now until the end of the year, if you purchase anything off our website, test lights, hats, shirts, hoodies, holders, whatever, Picoscopes, every $5 that you spend will enter you in a chance to win a Pico 44258 and a WPS 500 or or $2,000 cash, whichever one you prefer. If you already have these components, you just want some cash. Every $100 that you spend will give you free shipping, United States only, 
know overseas. Every $200 that you spend will enter you guys to get some free Jarhead Diagnostics hot sauce. This stuff is excellent. It's got a sweet heat to it. It's really, really good. So every $200 you spend gets you some hot sauce. Every $100 that you spend gives you free shipping. And every $5 that you spend enters you in a chance to win the Pico and the WPS. There is a no purchase necessary option to win this as well. All information is available on our website. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.